Good morning. I wanted to make a video showing how I modified a propane torpedo heater to heat my powder coat oven. I have a 5x5x7 five by five by powder coat oven and this is going to be my heat uh, source for it. Most of these videos I found online all talk about the Mr. Heater and I thought maybe mine was different but I have a Dynaglow Deluxe and it seems to be almost exactly the same inside. I'd say most of these propane heaters are very similar, although I don't suggest anyone do this to themselves because we are talking about gas and electricity. You may hurt yourself, so I don't suggest doing this at home, but this is just what I did. I'm just letting you know in case you'd like, you know, in case you'd like to know. I made a mistake when I ordered the solenoid valve for the gas. I ordered a 12 volt and I thought my PID controller would operate that, but it does not. Um, it was actually, I made this way too complicated in, in my mind thinking about it beforehand. And it's actually very simple. We're going to modify this so that when you plug it in, the whole thing comes on and starts operating. And it continues operating until you unplug it. Then, as far as heat control, your PID controller later will take care of turning it off and on at the right time. But, so this is how you make a propane salamander heater come on when you plug it in and stay on until you unplug it. First you're going to need a gas solenoid. You want a 110 solenoid. I got the 3 8 uh, pipe hitting on the end of it and so when you first get your open up your heater you got four screws take off this bottom panel. When you first open it up you're going to find this control valve is going to be in, uh, installed through this hole here and it'll be connected up. So what you want to do is take all, both your lines loose from that control valve and you'll have these two fittings that were in mine. It's kind of hard for me to find something that would connect these, but I went down to my Ace Hardware nearby. They had this 3 8 outside diameter compression coupling. Let's see, I'm trying to get to where you can see. It's just, so it's 3 8 outside diameter, 3 8 outside diameter. That connected mine together, and from what I've seen, a lot of them have that same size. So hopefully that helps you. The brand of this was Suchi. But anyhow, it came from an Ace Hardware. 3 8 outside, 3 8 outside. Um, so that's what this little piece right here is that connects those two. Because uh, these, these threads, I was having trouble figuring out what size they were. So they, I found they were 3 8 outside diameter. So you just connect those directly together. On the end of your control valve, when you first get it, where this hole is now, there was originally two different wires. There's this yellow wire, this little apparatus here, and then there's a another one. This is uh, the original heat sensor to make sure it automatically, it doesn't stay on until there's heat to it. So, But those can be just put out of the way. We don't need those. You got to make sure that your heater has a automatic igniter. Um, you must have an automatic igniter in order to modify it this way. But So you've got your gas line, you've connected it together, it comes around here. My, the easiest way for me to mount this was outside. Now, um, this is my ace, or my my DC uh, solenoid is still on here. I've got to swap it out with the AC when I got But uh, you just pipe it in. Now the, the wires, when you get the... Notice there's yellow wires on the one I'm going to be using. It's the, eight, the 110 AC. Uh, you just, these two wires come around and they connect into your line and your common, your black and white, as it comes in from the plug. Connect them directly to that so then when you plug it in, that'll open your gas valve, turn the gas on, the whole heater goes to work to ignite the gas. And you've got heat until you unplug it. So, and then we'll go over the PID and how to connect it in my next video.